Hey everyone, wanted to make a, a quick walk around video of the Monte Carlo we have for sale. It's a 1984 Super Sport Monte Carlo. As you guys know from watching my videos, this car is currently racing on the uh, Street Outlaws uh, TV show. It's being raced by uh, Chris Kamikaze. Uh, the car so far in this season has raced six times. Uh, it has won four times. Uh, the other two races it lost, I feel if Chris had been spraying, which he wasn't, I think the car would have easily have won those races. So anyway, so here's the car, 1984 Super Sport Monte Carlo. We'll do a quick walk around of the car. Car has a 17 inch race master tires on the back uh, with 17 inch uh, race star wheels. Let's do an outside and then we'll go into the inside. 17 inch by five wheels in the front with uh, Mickey Thompson uh, street tires and uh, the car does have wheelwood brakes on it. There are a few little nicks and scratches on the car. For example, right there, there's a little nick there. Remember the car was used on the TV show, so everything was very quick. Have a little nick right there. The car is really pretty. I mean, it's painted under the hood. You can see really glossy. Everything under the hood is really nice. Got really nice buttons on anything, on everything, really nice screws. Electric water pump, high amp, alternator, trick flow heads, aluminum radiator, big fans, has a Chevy S10 manual steering. Tubular control arms all in the front. Has a induction solutions nitrous system. Manual brakes. It is uh, set up for nitrous, has two regulators, one for the motor, one for the nitrous. As you can see, the firewall was uh, smoothed out and cleaned up really well. The paint, I would say overall is about a, I would say, man, I would go as high as a nine out of 10 if it wasn't for the little nicks. There's no dings, there's no dents on it. As far as rust, the only thing I found was right here. Has a little spot right there, right at the roof line. That's the only thing I found on it. Interior is really clean. The seats in the car right now don't match the interior and I'll show you why. These seats are out of a, out of a Grand National that we had. Uh, we put them in just to see how they looked. Unfortunately, they don't match. So the car will sell with the seats that were in the car when we bought the car. So you've got a B&M shifter, has a nice Sony stereo, nice billet steering wheel. Rear area, headliner is brand new. We redid the headliner on it. It doesn't have the sun visors installed, but I do have the sun visors for it. Again, the M&H Race Masters. These are brand new. We haven't even done a, done a burnout with these. The wheels are also brand new. They're 17 by nine and a half with a six inch backspace. Trunk, battery mounted in the back. You have the shutoff for the battery as required. Nitrous uh, bottle mount, nitrous line. Again, nicely painted. And again, the, the, the main, the main uh, thing that we see is this little scrape right here. It's been touched up. I did have some paint matched up for it uh, in a spray can. Uh, I had a local shop match it up. So I'll include that in the sale and you can try to fix that. All right, so let's look at the interior real quick. So the car does have a Holly EFI uh, screen instead of regular gauges. It's really cool. Turn the key forward. Let the uh, system boot up. And here you'll get all your, you'll get your bolts. You'll have your oil pressure, fuel pressure, uh, water temperature. Uh, here's your fuel pump. Here's your cooling. 
that turns on your fans. The fans are on a sensor, uh, so they'll turn on when the car comes up to temperature. But you can you can go ahead and then turn them on. And the screen's pretty cool. It is a touch screen. You can change the look of it. So you can change different screens. You can go to just a full tack. Classic. Right? So, I mean, I'm pretty sure you guys have seen these before, but it's pretty cool to have this in here. So, anyway, let's fire it up real quick. So you guys have seen the car uh, on my channel. Uh, you guys have seen that uh, it runs. Uh, we ran it when a 1040 at close to 130 miles an hour uh, on a on a drag radial, which was very impressive. Uh, the car has a 4080 transmission, so you basically just put your hands on the wheel and let it shift on its own. You don't have to do anything. Just hang on. Just hang on tight. Uh, we have not tried the nitrous on it. Uh, Kamikaze did dyno it, made uh, close to a thousand horsepower on the nitrous on about a 250 shot. Uh, so, car's got a lot of potential. I think, I think with a good 300 shot, the car's easily an eight second street car. This thing's an animal, but it's a very street friendly car. It'll, it'll cruise all day. You know, doesn't get doesn't get hot or anything. Uh, so these are the seats that will go with the car. These are the seats that actually match the interior of the car. They match the door panels. They're actually the correct color for the interior. So again, just to be clear, these are the seats that come with the car, not the Grand National seats. All right, so at the time of sale, we will pull the Grand National seats out and put the, uh, the stock seats back in. These are basically Regal seats. The only thing that's missing on them, or they're Monte Carlo seats, they're just missing the, the headrest. Uh, this seems to be a thing right now. A lot, I've seen a lot of cars without them, so that's the deal right now, apparently. So there it is, uh, 1984 Monte Carlo Super Sport 502 Big Block 4L80E. Uh, let's put it up on the rack and uh, let's uh, let's go over the bottom real quick. All right, so looking at the back, we'll start from here and then work our way forward. As you can see, the car, when it was restored some years back, the bottom of it was painted the same color as the car. But it was done like with, uh, what do they call it, like uh, undercoating or whatever. I forget what they call that stuff. Um, so you can see that brand new polyurethane bushings. The car has uh, the stock gas tank, but it's been, uh, they've added a sum to it with dash 10 line. With a big Magna fuel, fuel pump all the way to the front. Has uh, QA1 coilovers. Has a Mustang 8.8 rear end uh fully modified welded tubes uh it has uh bolt-in axles so it's got no c-clips in it uh because it's an 8.8 .8. and then they've added the uh, the c-clip eliminators to it 
has a huge anti-roll bar with heim joint links, has fully adjustable suspension with the coilovers, fully adjustable. They've added some support. Here, let me get some more light. See, the uppers are all supported, all welded up. This car is very, very fast, has a lot of potential. The frame has been notched for the big tires. You can fit, uh, we had a 15 by 10 uh, wheel on here with a five and a half backspace with a 275-60 drag radial uh, on the car. So again, big fuel filter, dash uh, 10 line all the way to the front with a return line, with a return line back to the tank. As you can see, the whole bottom of the car has that undercoating that they added the, uh, the color to the car. Uh, has a big uh, MagnaFlow exhaust system on it. Has some really nice control arms on it. Again, here you can see everything. Big fuel system. Brand new polyurethane bushings everywhere. All new brake lines. Uh, custom uh, cross member for the 4080. Again, you can see the polyurethane bushings. 480 transmission, big tube headers. For a lady with a race torque converter, has great manners on the street. Willwood disc brakes with steel braided lines, two wheeler lowers and uppers. Here you can see the uh, S10 manual steering. And then you can see the uh, the coilovers in the front as well. You can see the adjustable coilovers in the front as well. So you can raise it, lower it. You can do whatever you want with it. On the bottom, the only spot we found was this little spot right here. Found that little spot right there. That's the uh, driver's side footwell, uh, which is a very common area on these G-bodies. We looked it over really well. It's the only little spot we found under the car. Everything else is really, really clean. Big dry shaft from uh, dynamic drive lines. So again, you can go to our, uh, our page and look up uh, uh, Kamikaze Monte Carlo on our page and you can see where it made the uh, 1040 pass. We actually took it out there one night for test and tune, made a 1080, and then we took it out there again. Got a little bit more serious with it. Uh, got on a little bit harder on the stall converter, and it ripped out a 1040. Um, honestly, I think the car, the timing right now is at 31 degrees. Um, I think, I honestly feel the car has a nine second motor run in it. Um, because I mean, that 1040, it did it really, really easy. Uh, shifting at uh, 5,800 RPM. Uh, so that was, you know, obviously there's a lot of potential left there. So there it is. If you guys are interested, hit me up, DM me, hit me up on Instagram. And uh, let me know.